Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have a fabulous box that's been sent to me for review for the last few years now. It is of course Anchor of Hope Box which is $36 per month plus $6 in shipping and every month you receive three beautiful pieces made by survivors of human trafficking or refugees or others in vulnerable situations. I do have a code for you where you can save 10%. It's simply Noelle10. I'll leave that important information for you in the description box below. That code will also work on the items in their artisan shop online where you can find all kinds of beautiful products. They also still have a fantastic deal where if you would like to try this subscription out or maybe gift it to someone, I think it's a lovely gift, you can do a three month subscription for just $99. So you're basically saving $3 per box. Let's go ahead and dive into this one though and see what we have got for the month of March. I just always think it's lovely. The box is always a different size depending on what the items are inside. But what they do is they tell you who they are and what they do on this insert. And then they also have an insert with all of the information about the products. And they kind of design it nicely so that if you'd like to gift any of these items, you can just slice that section out so your recipient will know all about it and uh, who has made this beautiful product. So. Let me just go ahead and read the who we are because I like to read one of these paragraphs at least each time that I show this box on the channel. Anchor of Hope Box is a subscription box company that commissions refugees, survivors of human trafficking, and others in vulnerable situations to make handmade items. Through the dignity of work, these individuals are able to rebuild damaged and fragile lives as they work to overcome the painful situations that have brought them to this place. As we embarked on this adventure, aiming only to provide an income for these precious families, we saw something much greater start to happen. Through the relationships that have been building, we see the power of community happen. As people all over the world desire and purchase these handmade items, we see hope arising. It is a beautiful thing, and I could not agree more. So let's see, we've got, a, got some things kind of like rustling around in here, and there's sort of mauve tissue paper. So this actually has a label on it that says what it is, but it's kind of wrapped very neatly, so I have to see what it is and I actually need to get my scissors out to open it up because they've wrapped it so carefully. Hmm, what could this be? This is interesting. I think it's a ceramic piece which is kind of unusual. We don't get a lot of that. Oh, it's a beautiful little incense holder. I love the wash on it. So that's what the label said. It said mint ice wash and I was thinking it was going to be like a bath and body product which we do occasionally get in this box but that is so pretty. So it just has a little hole where you can put the stick of incense and then as the ash falls then it catches in this little ceramic bowl which is beautiful. It actually has a um, value on it. There's a tag on the bottom because it came from 10,000 Villages which is a company that gets a lot of imports from different places. Uh, so this is crafted in Nepal. It has a value of $5.99. We know that because it says so on the bottom but beautiful glaze. Let's see what it says. It says these ceramic incense holders are shaped glazed and fired by Sana Hastakala Artisan Group in Nepal. Sana Hastakala empowers marginalized artisans through combining traditional skills with modern techniques and offering business and community development programs. We love to hear that. So this is really, really pretty and I do have some incense. I'm a yoga instructor so I do occasionally like to use uh, incense as fragrance and it has some cleansing properties as well. But if you didn't want to use incense, if you're not someone who burns incense, of course you could just use this as a little ring dish as well, you know, or you could even like Put a little flower in there or something like a dried flower it would actually look really kind of cute to have like a little dried bouquet there all right let's go ahead and move on to the next item which is some spring thank you cards these are beautiful so it looks like we got two of them two cards and two envelopes these are handmade in the usa uh, and produced by hands producing hope says we believe there's so much power in the handwritten note i agree it means so much when someone sends you a handwritten note it says these lovely spring thank you cards are designed by hands producing hope they work a lot with uh anchor of hope box and directly support their programs around the world that empower women to rise above the boundaries of isolation and illiteracy through your support hands producing hope provides artisans with access to education fair trade job opportunities and community, which again, community is so important. So it does say uh, on the back, hands producing hope, so your recipient would know about that as well. Simple white envelope, but I do think this is a really pretty kind of boho spring design. So we got one in kind of that 
sort of mauve, like a warm beige color. And then we have this one, also very springy. So this one just says, thank you on it. And this one says, endlessly thankful for you and has kind of the same design, but it looks so different with a different background. Those are lovely. I will probably be sending these in some of my mystery boxes that I send for our secret password giveaways every month. So I've been a little bit behind with that, but I'm getting caught up on everything. You guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm trying to get caught up and get everything lined up because I am going on another trip in celebration of my parents' anniversary in just a few weeks. So I'm going to get all caught up and then just in time to get behind on things again. But I'm almost caught up on all of my photos, I'm almost caught up on all of my mystery boxes that I like to send out. And I do really appreciate all of your patience. And of course, I really appreciate when you guys are still watching the videos, even when I'm not able to post every day, which we've gone for like three solid years of posting all Almost every day with few exceptions so I do appreciate all of your support so this is interesting I'm wondering what this is like if I had to guess I would say this is a spoon but I don't know if it's a spoon so let's find out what it is uh, it is all wrapped up in some tissue so I, I don't usually have to use my scissors so much with uh, anchor of hope box but we've got all kinds of things oh interesting ah so it is a utensil but it is not a spoon it is handmade in India you guys, it is a pizza cutter, so it has kind of this curved edge to it. Hopefully it's not too sharp, but I do have a lot of pizza. Actually, my husband and I just had pizza last night, so it feels like you're going to really be able to work into that pizza or your dough. I like to use uh, pizza cutters when I'm making scones or any kind of dough that needs to have a nice slice to it. So this is kind of cool, very simple, and much longer handle than all of the pizza cutters that I already have. So says, this is much more than a handcrafted pizza cutter. It is the dream of two brothers in village Bilari, India. They saw their dad working their whole life in unsafe and ethical working conditions, probably unethical working conditions, and knew it wasn't right. They built their own artisan business on the principles of fair trade and craft beautiful metalwork while empowering their artisans. You are also supporting clean water projects, home sanitation projects, and vocational training, which you can feel really, really good about supporting this box and gifting items from it, I think. You guys, let's have one of those secret passwords. So when you come across one of the secret passwords in one of my videos, you wanna enter your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below, often pinned in the first comment as well. Please don't put the secret password into the comments because then I have to delete your comment. It's supposed to be a secret. You're supposed to be kind of rewarded, incentivized to watch the video in their entirety. Now you do have to be 18 years or older, you do have to be a subscriber of my channel, doesn't have to be publicly, and you do have to have a US or Canadian mailing address and just Canadians. You do have a choice of a gift card or helping me out with the shipping if you are one of the winners. About six days into the following month, I'll use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive mystery boxes as my way of saying thank you. Essentially each password is an entry, so if there are 10 passwords in a given month, you could have up to 10 different entries. And just as a reminder, it's not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. Let's go ahead and have, have our secret password for today be pizza because I love me some pizza. It's one of my favorite foods. It's one of my favorite go-to easy dinners when none of us want to cook in our household. So pizza is a secret password for today. You guys, you can let me know what one of your favorite easy go-to dinners is in the comments below. I'd love to hear. And I would also love to hear from you what your favorite item in this particular lovely box was. So we had an item from Nepal, an item made uh, in the USA, by hands producing Hope Artisans and something made from India. So it's very much a global community box, which I also really appreciate. And this time around, these are all really nice items that I feel like I could use. I don't know that I need another pizza cutter. So this might be one of those items where I slice up the card and gift it to someone else. I love a ring dish or an incense holder. So this one might stay in my collection, but these, I would say the thank you cards, just because I know that I will use them and I think they are really beautiful are probably my favorite items for today. Now, if you watch this video, thank you so much. You probably already caught that secret password, but if you somehow skipped around and you missed it, there was a secret password in this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching my videos. I do truly, truly appreciate your support, as well as all of your likes and your comments. I really appreciate our amazing NoBot community that we have on Facebook. It's a private Facebook group. I'll leave a link for that in the description box below as well if you'd like to join us there. 
there. That is where we run our book club. That's where we have sometimes extra giveaways. That's where we talk about our lives as well as subscription boxes. And of course, I also have an Instagram account where I would love, love, love your support because I do all kinds of product photography for different boxes here on the channel. And sometimes I do some updates in my stories as well. So if you want to know what's going on, sometimes that's the easiest way for me to get the word out in addition to the community tab here on YouTube. So I hope that you are following this channel already. If you are, thank you so much. If not, please, please join. It doesn't cost anything. I'd love to see you here a little bit more, especially in the comments. I love kind of getting to know you and recognizing names time after time. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.